For this video, we're going to do an operation video. We're going to actually go out on the water and uh, show you how to use a hydrovane. The variable axis feature allows you to adjust the inclination of the vane uh, based on the conditions. So in light airs, we can have the vane upright for maximum sensitivity. And for heavy, heavy weather, we can actually depower the vane by raking the axis aft and locking down the knob. So you're just desensitizing the vein. So the next control is the ratio control. And what this does is it actually allows you to tune the vein for the conditions. So you can either add power or take away power from the vein. Uh, so right now it's in the far right position, which is neutral dis or disengaged. Uh, that's your emergency steering option if you need to use it. Um, and then we go all the way to the left for light errors to mo light to moderate conditions. That's a three to one ratio here. So it gives you maximum power, but least amount of rudder deflection from side to side, which is 15 degrees. Uh, moderate to heavy conditions, we go to the middle setting. That's two to one uh, ratio and gives us 25 degrees rudder deflection. And then in real extreme conditions, you can go to the one to one setting, which is the least amount of power, but the most amount of uh, rudder deflection from side to side. So you basically put it in the setting. Most sailing, you're going to have it in the far left setting uh, for you know your average conditions, average downwind conditions. So we're out on the water in beautiful Burrard Inlet. Uh, we've got the sails balanced. Uh, right now we're uh, close hauling to close reaching. Uh, somewhere in between. We've locked off the main rudder in that sweet spot that balances out the boat. Uh, we'll come back here, we get the leading edge, leading edge of the vane into the wind. Whenever the vane is standing tall, you're on course, according to the vane. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll engage it all the way to the left for maximum sensitivity and maximum power. We've got the vane standing tall, and now what happens is the boat falls off course, the leading edge moves from side to side which moves the rudder and keeps the boat on course. So you have to remember that you're always steering an apparent wind-based course. So if the wind shifts 10 degrees, the vane's gonna follow. If there's a dramatic sail sh uh, wind shift, you can actually use the remote course setting line by moving the vane, which puts the vane hard over and gets you on the course that you wanna be on. So, but usually once you've got the vane set up properly, it'll just stand tall and do its, its small tweaking from side to side. So that's kind of the motion you should be looking for. If it's constantly getting pinned to one side, then you know that you haven't engaged on the right point of sail. Another big feature of the hydrovane is the fact that it also doubles as an emergency rudder. So uh, if you did have problems with your steering, whether it's a quadrant failure, hydraulic failure, uh, something happened to your main rudder, you've always got that fallback. And all you have to do is disengage the unit right here, put in the ratio knob so it's disengaged. Then the rudder is free trailing. And what you can do is you can take your bilge pump handle, which is a three quarter inch OD, slide it inside the hydrovane tiller stub, just like that. And now we've got emergency tiller and rudder. So we can actually steer the boat, which is what I'm doing right now with the hydrovane tiller. With today's modern boats, you know, all, most of them having spade rudders, your rudder's more vulnerable to hitting something or damage or shaft failure or whatever it is. So having the hydrovane as an emergency rudder is a big, big feature and gives you a lot of confidence when you're sailing beyond the horizon. One, one other feature I did want to mention is that you can also hook a tiller pilot onto the hydrovane uh, tiller. And uh, that's also a great thing because, you know, tiller pilots are relatively inexpensive. Uh, because it's pushing a, a semi-balanced rudder, you know, the loads on it are very small, so any tiller pilot will drive it. And what you do is you just have your tiller pilot mounted on the stern rail somewhere about here and drive it right onto the tiller so when you're motoring or light airs, it actually will control the hydrovane rudder and you've got a, an autopilot. So a relatively inexpensive way to have an autopilot. Uh, on top of your having an emergency rudder and the self-steering for wind vanes. So you're essentially killing three birds with one stone by having that. So here we've got our remote course setting line, which is basically just an endless loop going back to the unit. 
and we've attached it onto a bungee cord which is just keeps enough tension on it so that it's not going to skip off the worm over there and um, this is a nice feature because if it's you know if the weather's nasty out you can be hiding under the dodger and if you want to change your course 10 degrees all you do is lean over tug the line and you're done rather than having to go back and forth between the, the back of the boat and where you are so um, a lot of people don't run it all the way down. I like to have it run as far as possible so you can reach from anywhere in the cockpit and grab the line and make a course adjustment.